Hey everyone, we're going to be talking about the circuits today and specifically how that applies to building your Sabre. I've got some terms here that are defined and a basic circuit laid out with components that you'll see in a very basic lightsaber. So we're going to look at how these terms apply to a Sabre circuit and just keep in mind that everything that I'm talking about is going to be highly simplified just to convey the concept of what's going on. So let's start with the terms. A circuit is a closed loop of conductive material. Electricity, that is electrons flowing in a circuit. Voltage is the difference in charge between two points that is measured in volts, abbreviated with the letter V. The symbols that you would see in a circuit diagram, usually a V, sometimes an E to represent voltage. Current is electricity's rate of flow as it moves through a circuit that is measured in amperes or amps, and it is abbreviated with the letter A. You'll see a letter I as the symbol representing it in a circuit diagram. Then resistance, and resistance is circuit's opposition to current flow. It is measured in ohms. This symbol right here that looks like an upside down horseshoe represents ohms. And you'll either see that or usually a letter R in a circuit diagram to represent resistance. Okay, so all the components in our circuit possess conductive material. The LED, the switch, the battery, the wire, any other components that come into the circuit, they all have conductive material. And when the switch is closed, meaning you've pressed the button, um, and any other components that may be added to the circuit are closed, you have a closed loop of conductive material and that creates your circuit. Electricity in that circuit is electrons flowing throughout it. So in a DC circuit like we have in a Sabre, because we have batteries, that's direct current, you're going to see the electrons moving from the negative terminal of the battery and they're going to move throughout the circuit through each component, trying to get back to the positive terminal of the battery. If you were to have a short circuit here, meaning wire running just between the terminals of the battery, they're still traveling here. Don't ever do that, by the way. But that is how electrons travel. They're getting from the negative terminal of the power source to the positive terminal of the power source when you're talking about a DC circuit. <clears throat> so a power source having a full charge, meaning the voltage of your battery is at its maximum capacity, that keeps current flowing because voltage is the driver of current. So when your battery is fully charged, it's driving current optimally in the circuit, but as your electrons move around and around. They're going from the negative terminal to the positive terminal. You're going to see a loss in voltage. The opposition to current being resistance, that resistance is causing heat and you're losing energy through that heat. So slowly that battery will drain from its 3.7. In this case, it's likely a 3.7 volt battery. So it's somewhere between 3.7 and 4.2 volts likely. Um, it's going to move from that voltage down to a lower voltage to the point where it will no longer uh, run your LED or whatever other components you have and you need to recharge it. So current flows only when a circuit is closed. If your switch is open, there is no current flowing in this circuit. There's no current here before the switch. That's why it wouldn't matter if this switch is here on the positive side, between the positive of the LED and the positive of the battery, you're not running any power to this LED. The current will only flow when it's closed. You could put the switch over here, put the switch over here, it's not gonna make a difference. Placement um, of a resistor is also unimportant. Um, current is the same throughout the circuit, so you could have the resistor here before an LED. 
it's going to protect it. You could have the resistor here after the LED, it's going to protect it. People have preferences of where they like to put their switch and their resistor. A lot of times you'll see the resistor on this side of the LED, the switch on this side of the LED, sometimes the switch over here, but most people like to run the resistor on the negative side. And that's that's all good and well. You can run it on either side. It doesn't matter. It's going to protect the LED just the same. Resistors, that's a, a good segue into resistance because resistors are not the only source of resistance in a circuit. In fact, everything in this circuit has some form of resistance. Mostly, um, if your components have been selected properly, you're going to have a negligible amount. So we don't talk about it typically. There's a little bit of resistance in your LED, in your switch, in your battery, in your wires, but it's small enough that it pales in comparison to what happens when you put a resistor in line. Um, and that's good. You, you, the goal of making a uh, properly functioning circuit is you don't want any of your components to cause a noticeable amount of resistance because then your circuit's not going to function optimally. So that means you need to understand the safe current carrying value of your components. You need to make sure your switch is capable of carrying the current that you need it to, that a recharge port is capable of carrying the current necessary, that the wires that you're using are capable of that. I'll be breaking down all of that and further information on components in detail in future videos, but that's really wrapping it up for basic circuits in this video. I want to keep these videos bite-sized so you guys don't become overwhelmed if any of this is new to you or if all of it is new to you. Please feel free to ask questions in the comments or in the Saber Builders Academy on Facebook. I will be linking that group in the description. Thanks for watching everyone. And remember, whatever you're working on, when shit gets tough, just persevere through it. If that means taking a break, coming back with a fresh attitude, so be it. But if you want something, don't give up on it. Just persevere. If you need to get help from somebody, get help, but stick with it, guys.